The dice are rolling fast and furious in this game for groups both big and small. Let's learn how to play! Quick! Welcome to How to Play by We've Learned. I'm Parker. And I'm Briggs. Today we're in a fun dice game for the whole family. Quicks. And make sure to stay to the end. We will show some custom rules and make this game even more fun. If you're new here, we love teaching fun family games. So hit the subscribe button to get notified when new videos are released. First, let's learn a little bit more about the game. This is a game for two to eight players and games are 15 to 20 minutes long. It's probably best for seven and older because you need to do some basic addition, but it can also help practice those addition skills. For young kids, we rate it as six out of 10. But we give it a seven for older kids, adults, and our family ratings. You can find even more details in our full review at weplaytolearn.com, linked in the description below. But right now, let's find out how to play. This is one of the easiest games to set up. Each player takes a score sheet and something to write with. Then take out the six dice and you're all ready to play. Take a look at your score sheet and you will see four rows of numbers with different colors. During the game, you will be crossing off numbers based on the dice rolled. When the game ends, you'll get points for every number crossed off in each row. Score the most points to win the game. Pick a first player, and then turn order goes clockwise around the table. On their turn, a player is called the active player. To start their turn, the active player rolls all six dice. The active player then does these things in order. First, add the numbers on the two white dice and announce the total to the whole table. All players, including the active player, can then, but don't have to, cross off that number on any of their rows. The second thing the active player can do is use one of the color dice, and this is something only the active player can do. Add the numbers from any one of the white dice and any one of the color dice. You can then cross off the total of those dice, but only on the row that matches the color of the dice you picked. For example, with a row like this, the active player could cross off the five or eight in the red row, six or nine in the yellow row, two or five in the green row, or 7 or 10 in the blue row. But they can only mark off one of these numbers. The active player can use a color dice even if they have already crossed off a number using both white dice. Or they can choose not to cross off a number using one of the color dice at all. But if the active player doesn't mark off a number in step 1 or step 2, then they must cross off one of their penalty boxes. And each penalty box that is marked off subtracts five points from your score at the end of the game. Notice that only the active player has to take a penalty if they don't cross off a number. The other players don't get a penalty for not using the white dice total from step one. There's one big rule about crossing up numbers. Each row can only be crossed off from left to right. And the game will not last long enough to cover all numbers. So players will have to skip some numbers to make progress and have a chance of winning. And once numbers are skipped, they cannot be crossed off in later turns. In fact, if you look at the board, you see that two rows start with number two and two rows start with 12. These are the least likely numbers to get with two dice. So some players will probably be skipping a space or two even on their first turn. Once all players have marked off any numbers they're going to use, pass the six dice to the new active player. Keep going around the table like this until somebody ends the game. The first way the game ends is a player marking off all four penalty boxes. The other way the game can end is if two dice have been removed from the game. Dice are removed by locking one of the four rows. You'll see that the last number in each row is connected to a lock. A player can only cross off this last number if they have marked off at least five other numbers in that row. When a player chooses to cross off that last number, they also mark off the lock next to it. Then the die matching that color is removed from the game. And no players can mark off any other numbers in that color for the rest of the game, not even using the white dice. But it is possible for more than one player to lock the same row at the same time by using the white dice. In this case, both players get to cross off the lock. When the game ends, all players calculate their score using the table at the bottom of the board. Count the number of crosses on each row. 
including class of locks, and compare it to the table. Do this separately for each row, and write down the score at the bottom. Don't forget to subtract five points for each penalty too. Then everyone adds up their score. The highest total score is the winner. At the start of the video, we promise to share some tips to make the game even better. First, laminate the game boards before your first game if you have the deluxe version. This version is meant to be used with dry erase markers, but sometimes they can stain the board that comes with it. Laminating the boards will fix this problem. You can even do this with the paper boards in the normal version of the game. You don't want to buy new ones later. Our other tip can help include younger kids that are still learning addition. After the dice are rolled, group them like this. This organizes the colors like they are on the board and helps younger kids identify combinations more easily. Early in the game, they can look for small numbers on the top dice or large numbers on the bottom dice. Don't worry if you forget some of the custom rules. They're all in the review on our website. That review also answers helpful questions and shows other games like this one. You'll see it linked in the description below. And make sure to click on our reviews page where you can find ideas for other great games. There, you'll see a list you can sort using 10 different categories, including our age-based ratings, number of players, and more. So check us out at WePlayLearn.com. Or watch another of our How to Play videos here. We'll see you next time on How to Play by WePlayLearn. Bye! Bye.